You're watching WCCB News Edge with Morgan Fogarty. Alec Murdaugh's lawyers started laying out their case today by calling the disgraced former attorney's only living son to the stand. Richard Murdaugh, who goes by Buster, answered questions ranging from how he found out about his mom and brother's murders to how his brother would steal his ID to buy alcohol. Seems irrelevant. Buster describes his dad in the days after the murders as devastated and confused. The defense team also asked Buster a question that's got a lot of people on social media split. Take a listen. If you listen to it, would you be able to tell the jury whether it's I or they? Yes, sir. Uh, Your Honor, I'd like to pull up exhibit 153, the clip. <laughs> What did your dad say? Said they did them so bad. They did them so bad. Is that the first time you'd heard him say they did him so bad? No, sir. When was the first time you heard him say they did him so bad? Uh, first time I heard him say that was the night that I went down to Moselle, the night of June the 7th. There are other people who say that they hear him say, I did them so bad. I did them so bad. Alec Murdaugh, as you know, is on trial for the murders of his wife, Margaret, and their son, Paul, which happened just days after he was accused of extensive fraud at his namesake law firm. Uh, go ahead, I want to interrupt you for just a quick second. The same day as the killings is when the CFO of his law firm confronted him and, and said, said, we know you're stealing money from the law firm. Just like I, I know. We're on to you. Yeah. Yeah. And then later that night is when the wife and son were murdered and uh, I think her name is Jeannie Seconder, the CFO. She's like, oh gosh, you know, let's put a hold on our investigation into yeah. his finances and let him grieve. So, okay, a, a few things here. Um, and I know that you've been closely watching this case. Mm -hmm. The Murdoch family has been compared to the mafia mm -hmm. in South Carolina. Um, so if you're Buster, if you're mm -hmm. the remaining living son, yeah. You go on the stand and you defend your dad because are you afraid of what might happen? Are you getting pressure from other people who are um, connected to your family? Or do you try to bring justice to your mom and your brother? I mean, it is such a difficult position. Well, and it is all very complicated. I think you go on the stand to defend your dad because he is presumed innocent until proven guilty. And nobody wants to believe that their dad killed their mom and brother, right? So, um, I, I and, and Buster, you know, he has, uh, there's been lots of talk about him not having the, the cleanest of, uh, you know, behavior records either. Um, so I think it sounds that, like the, it's a trend in the family. Yeah, it's, you know, I mean, it's unfortunately. all, yeah, so, um, so yeah, I think that he is all his dad has left, basically, with the exception of his the dad's brothers and, and sister. But um, yeah, you got to defend your dad. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's a tough. I, you know, first of all, you you tell the truth. Um, yes, you is, tell the truth is where that starts. But obviously, you know, as we all know, within families, the truth can be complicated. Yeah, um, the truth is not always cut and dry. Mm -hmm. um, I am curious to know, have you done any, why did they bring up the, he and he used to steal my ID to go buy alcohol? Okay, because you know there's been several like trials within a trial within this related to money fraud, drug use, um, the boat crash. Okay, so it started with the boat crash right. in 2019 where that young lady, Mallory Beach, was killed. Um, Paul allegedly was driving the boat very drunk two o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and he had used his older brother's ID because he was underage to buy beer and alcohol before getting on the boat with his friends and then later that night Mallory Beach died. Which to be clear has nothing to do with the fact then that he was shot and killed. Well, the, I think the state is trying to show that the walls were closing in on Alec Murdoch his family, uh, his youngest son Paul was facing criminal charges. His family, he and his wife and the surviving son Buster were facing civil lawsuits related to the boat crash. Mm -hmm. um, he has been discovered that he's stealing millions of dollars from clients and from the firm. And he's got a drug problem that's out of control. So the state is trying to connect it into this big, when the, when the walls close in, he gets violent. Mm. That's 
That's a lot. It's a lot. And I do, you know, I feel bad for Buster because yeah. what a position to be in. Yeah. I don't know how I would handle it.